My little schooner, Marcy, is jammed fast in the ice pack. We are now making our last attempt to force the barrier by using dynamite. If it works, we reach the Greenland coast. If it doesn't, it's just too bad. Before we free the schooner, we take aboard fresh water, formed by the melting of surface snow. No need to go thirsty in the Arctic. We test the Monarchy's bow and lay wires for the dynamite. It's the only way to clear a lead, as the high explosives will burst hundreds of tons at one blast. My men run to safety. I give the signal and off go 25 plugs of dynamite. The ice cracks and we start moving through the lead. All hands overboard to pass the pieces astern. For if the ice snips, the schooner now, she's a goner. Slowly we move ahead. It seems an eternity, but at last we are in open water. The hard work has made us hungry. So Billy the cook prepares a feed for all. Don't those buckwheat cakes and good maple syrup make your mouth water? Boy, <laughs> that archy grub puts hair on your chest. After dinner, we sight a couple of walrus, which slide right off the ice pan. And look, there's a lone Eskimo coming out to tackle a one-ton walrus, the fiercest of all Arctic animals. Eskimos hunt these tigers of the north in frail kayaks with nothing but a harpoon. There it goes, right up to the hill. That bull is caught. So lots of little Eskimo babies will have a good feed tonight. <laughs> <laughs>